Connecting Python and MariaDB. In this module, we're going to set up the connection between Python and MariaDB. This is a relatively simple operation, but it's crucial for connecting our API to a database. In this module, we will set up some prerequisites, install pip, and then use pip to install Flask. So let's get started. Okay, now I'm SSH'd back onto my Linux server where I'm at the endpoint. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up some prerequisites, install pip, and then use pip to install Flask. So let's get started. Now, as you can see here, I'm typing in sudo apt-get install libmariadb client-dev, libssl-dev, and python-mysqldb. And now that that's complete, we'll need to get the MySQL connector. We'll do it by getting it from the following URL. And we'll press enter, and this will download this deb file from the internet. And now we want to use dpackage to install it. And here's the command we'll use. This will install the proper files to use the MySQL connector module. Next, we're going to set up Python Flask. OK, and we're going to use Python Flask for the REST interface. Flask is written in Python. It's a very fast, powerful, and stable way to connect. So let's make a source folder. Now, in some cases, you may need to download Easy Setup. So we're going to go ahead and go through that process. The first thing we'll need to do is install curl. And next, we'll use curl to get the easy setup py file. Now, you may want to check this by hand. Anytime you're running curl and going out to pull something off the internet, it's a huge security risk. So you might want to just go and browse over anything like this, like this easy setup. We know and we trust, but it's always good to look at it. And now that we've got that downloaded, we'll run it. Now, as you can see, I already have it installed, and I don't need to install the easy setup here. On some versions of Debian, you may need to do that, though. And now that we've got that installed, let's go ahead and install pip. Now that we've got that installed, we'll use pip to install Flask. And now we're ready to go. What is pip? You might be wondering what we just did there. We installed pip, which is a package management system for Python that's designed to easily install packages that are written in Python. We also installed Flask, which is a micro web framework written in Python. It's a library of pre-written code that's built to save you development time. In this module, we set up our prerequisites, we installed pip, and then used that to install Flask. Flask is a very powerful system that goes well beyond REST APIs, so if you're curious, you should explore it further and check it out. And now, on to our next module, 